Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Sorry. I dozed off there. Sorry, my bad. What a boring movie. What a boring movie. What like I'm just amazed at how boring this movie is. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen anyone wake up from a nap more enthusiastic like me. I'm coming back from a cold right now, so if I sound a little weirder than usual, that's the reason. All right? I get a cold. I get a little hay fever. That's what happens, you know? Especially when you're sitting watching a boring movie like Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Dude, so boring. Three hours long, I just wanted it. To- <laughs> go to sleep i think i started like doing chores in the middle like cleaning up my room and stuff honestly i i was i was i was bored i was but three hours three hours who watches a movie for three hours that consists of people walking in forests and in like a a cold desert there was there a terrain they didn't get to during this movie like they were in hell they were not in hell they're in dude middle earth somehow in this one spot how people keep bumping into each other but there's like there's snow and then there's beautiful like t-shirt weather Uh, what's going on here that mixed in with the three hour long fact that this movie just keeps going on and on and on about people walking around i will say this the opening scene was pretty epic with Gandalf fighting a giant hell monster. That was fun. But other than that, I was bored. I was bored. Even the fight scenes. Well, now we're used to Marvel movies where Captain America is fighting Iron Man for like 30, 40 minutes. But like, that's fun. I mean, I guess we're used to that kind of entertainment and action nowadays instead of whatever the hell this was because i was sleeping and bored the whole time i was watching. how did it make it this high and how did all three of them make it in the top 20 it, I'm, I'm amazed by some of this honestly um yeah other than that i mean it was not, I, I didn't like it at all i didn't really enjoy it whatsoever i mean to be real i do like the fact that um It's a beautiful, the shots are beautiful. And I think I said this on the other episodes as well, going into the Lord of the Rings, because this is the third one. Also, I watched them out of order too, but we'll go, I'll go into that in a second. What, what, um, what also I found interesting was the fact that the shots are beautiful. I mean, New Zealand is, is a beautiful country from what it looks like. Um, I think they shot all of it there and I mean, some of these places are places I would like love to go to just to for the scene for the scenery and all that just to go hiking around there and enjoy the um the the area I mean beautiful beautiful shots um I did watch these out of order which is funny to me uh because I never watched Lord of the Rings and they're out of order on IMDb's top 250 so I think that's pretty funny that I had to watch them out of order to to follow the instructions of the movie um i don't know pretty cool pretty funny another thing i found cool is the fact that golem kind of looks like a humunculus uh i'll put an image up of what a humunculus looks like but he kind of looks like um what that is i think it's about like where most of your sensory nerves are placed and like what you would look like if your sensory nerves were more uh, pronounced um yeah I don't know. I don't know why I know that. I think because of Full Metal Alchemist uh, Brotherhood. Um, yeah, <laughs> they use the word humunculus in that anime like a million times. Thanks, Ben, for getting me involved in an anime like knowing it like that. Uh, also found out that this book was really based on a uh, a philosophy conversation in Plato's uh, Republic, uh, going over. Socrates having a conversation with a student of his and in this conversation he's having with this student uh Gyges um he's going over why people do just things do people do just things because it's right or do they do them because it's reinforced with punishment and reward 
And so his student, Gyges, gives him a story about a shepherd who finds this um, this ring on the corpse of a giant, right? And he finds out that if he plays around with this ring of his, right, that he can turn invisible. So when he turns invisible, he ends up later on... Um, he, he ends up later on working at the palace. And while he's working at the palace, he seduces the queen through the power of like this ring he has, like being invisible and seducing her through that. And then he ends up killing the king and takes over the palace. And the question he brings up to Socrates is he thinks that people do things because they are re it's reinforced through that punishment and reward and if no one saw your actions and there were no consequences then you would be doing like different things like worse things like not just things you'd be only worrying about yourself and it comes into a question of that whole do people do things because people are watching them or because they would actually do these things and it's a very uh, kind of philosophized way of looking at why we do things or why we portray it because he's saying that we only do the things we do because it gives this kind of look at, look at me, I'm so good kind of view when, you know, that's a very selfish way to do uh, just things. Like I'm only good to people because I want to be perceived as good. I want to be perceived as somebody who's very nice and very good. I mean, what happens to the people that do bad things? You know, are they being, they're not being perceived as anything else but who they are, I guess. I mean, or they just don't care to be perceived as good or bad. It's a very interesting uh, way to look at things. Um, I mean, other than all that, I mean, Elijah Wood would probably be or Elijah Wood or Ian McKinnon, maybe, Sir Ian McKinnon. I mean, they were both great actors in other things I've seen them do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Gandalf is pretty good in the movie. I'm not going to lie. He's pretty solid. Um, uh, and then other than that, I just, I find, I find all the other characters so ridiculous. Sam's character seems ridiculous. Merry... I don't even know. I don't even know all the other ones. It's really, it's really cool to see uh, Billy Butcher, his the actor who plays him in a in a different role other than the boys. I mean, he's a big actor. Obviously, I've seen him in other things, but um, it's pretty cool to see him in this movie that was done like twenty years ago. He looks so much younger, uh, and he's a nice person in this movie compared to. <laughs> the boys where he's not a super nice happy-go-lucky guy i guess <laughs> uh yeah other than that i didn't really enjoy this movie all that much so i really have nothing else to say about it um uh, i hope the next movie i think i have to watch is um i think it's the matrix oh no 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 it's um it's uh a star wars i think it's star wars 5 Let's see. I, I haven't seen these movies for like five or ten years, so I'm very happy to see it. Anyways, guys, thank you for sticking it out with me for that three-hour-long movie. I guess uh, I'll have more to say on episodes that I actually enjoyed watching. <laughs> Other than that, uh, this movie had me sleeping. Uh, really appreciate it if you guys chuck me a thumbs up, You know, share it around. Uh, if you have differing opinions than me and you want to explain them, hey, Chuck them in the comments section. I've been reading all of them. If you really do see something that I didn't see and could explain it, I'll definitely be reading the comments. And I'm always down to look at different things. So if you make a compelling case about the movie, or the whole entire series for that matter, chuck it in the comments section. I'll look at it, and maybe you'll change my mind, honestly. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace.